say there's, I think there's a, uh, like a chronology or some stages that you go through when you start learning about risk and managing risk. You, first, you start off with you're completely not even cognizant that what the type of risk that there is. Um, and then, of course, you learn the hard way that there is risk there. And then what I did was I started off, I started cutting my losses, but I would do it, and then I'd have that just this one time moment. You know, where I'd say just this one time, you know, the story is real good here, um, or it's a quality company, um, you know, it's down a lot, I gotta, I'll wait till it comes back, just this one time, I'll, I'll hold. And then that would turn into a disaster, and that would really hurt my performance. And so then I'd go back to the math and realize that, wow, you know, just those few losers I had, if I just had cut those losses, it would have made a big difference. So then that takes you to sort of the next level, you start trying to religiously you know, manage the risk and cut those losses. And the final level is when I drew a line in the sand. It was just before 1990. It was around, I think, 1989. Um, I had had some stocks go against me, and I did the same thing. I didn't cut the losses, although I cut the losses on a lot of the trades, but not on all of them. I just said, you know what, from this day forward, if I'm going to lose at this game, it's going to be, they're going to have to nick me to death with a thousand cuts. I'm never, I'm not going to get beat on a big loss. It's going to have to be a lot of little uh, losses, and that's what I'm going to commit to. And now it's uh, uh, 30 some odd years later, and the rest is history. I've never had a big drawdown since.